Hello everyone, this is Cassandra Burford here to take you on a tour of the Indian Peoples of the Northern Great Plains Repository hosted by the Montana State University Library. Uh, this you see here is their homepage. It's very simple, straight to the point. The people of the Northern Great Plains. Um, you can browse by tribes, subjects, uh, artists, photographers, dates, locations, anything you can think of and you'll see there's a slideshow I believe it's randomly chosen photographs from the database. Uh, and the about page is uh, about the repository itself, and it is the source of most of my presentation. God bless it. Um, you can also find information about the original project before it became this big database that we have now. Um, and all of its uh, tribes and participating institutions. The um, collection has several unique small collections from individual artists which are very interesting. If you have time you should look at them. Um, I'm not going to click on every tab but this one's always good. Help! I believe at this point we should all know how to search a database, but if you need help finding something, there is a help page. And my computer has decided to be slow, and I apologize for that, but we do what we must. Um, on the right column, you'll see sample objects if you're just casually browsing and see something that catches your interest or you can do a quick search based on tribes if you know the specific tribe um, we'll try crow because I don't know many and look at that we have lots of results um, we'll try this looks like an interesting gentleman Um, you'll notice that uh, a lot of the elements are actually filled in on this one, but sometimes they just aren't sure. So unknown will be common in this database, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you click on one that says unknown, you'll find lots and lots of photographs by unknown photographers, which is all well and good, I suppose. Um, if you want to look by a specific institution, these are the photographs contributed by Little Bighorn College. I see here. Just children on the steps. Um, you have the people in the photograph named, so if they should appear again... Nope, this little girl is only in this one photo. And that's okay. Uh, you'll notice in this repository they have their unique object identifiers. They're just a simple numbering system. Uh, I suppose in the interest of keeping things simple for their uh, catalogers and librarians that a numbering system is best. So uh, They do have an advanced search option if you know exactly what you're looking for. Uh, most of the people that would use this repository I would hope know what they're looking for, but since we are just browsing, it's not and here it gives a full list of all of the I apologize I had to pause and I lost my train of thought so we're just going to continue on um, this is the list of their contributors and they offer full lists of the images contributed for browsing that is a good thing and finally 
Should you need anything, they have their lovely contact page. Or if you'd like to phone directly, you are more than welcome to. Um, I hope you enjoy browsing this repository. There are a lot of interesting images.